On my first visit to Pakistan in March 2022, I witnessed its rapid urbanization and economic growth. But what I also witnessed was an unpleasant presence of waste and garbage all throughout its cities. Punjab, which is the breadbasket of Pakistan, already produces 80 million tons of waste per year, which, when measured in daily waste per person, is close to the global average. However, only half of this waste is collected and almost none is disposed of properly. This is worsening Punjab's vulnerability to already severe climate change threats and contributes to global warming. The frequent floods wash away the garbage, which clogs stormwater canals, which in turn do not drain water properly. Large amounts of uncollected waste, especially plastic, creates habitats like stagnant water for disease vectors. And food waste is food supply for vermin. With raising temperatures, this is the perfect mix for disease spread. The mismanagement of solid waste and waste burning are also reasons for the haze over many Punjab cities and for the emissions of methane, which is a powerful climate warming gas. And this is an emergency. The Asian Development Bank is now supporting the Punjab government to tackle it, also by bringing in more awareness and education in its cities. ADB is designing a new project in Bahawalpur, a culturally and historically rich city in southern Punjab. Through the project, we are upgrading the quality of the collection equipment and transfer and disposal facilities. But more importantly, we are promoting behavioural change to support the municipal solid waste management company in creating a shift towards more sustainable business models. In Bahawalpur, about 30% of the waste is food waste, followed by plastic, diapers and yard waste. None of this is segregated or recycled, and it's likely to end up in oceans through the river systems and then eventually in our food. And even if it is recycled, then it is done by the informal sector under unsafe, dangerous conditions. This is in stark contrast with the European context, where 46% of all municipal waste is either recycled or composted. The recyclables in the waste, like plastic, paper, glass, and wet or organic waste components, have a value which is often underestimated. ADB is, is introducing solutions to segregate the waste to conserve the value of these precious parts. For instance, the recyclables will be given a new life and will produce revenues. The organic part of the waste will be composted and will produce energy or fertilizers. The 20% of the waste which is generated at the end of the project that cannot be avoided or recycled, like ceramics, textiles, treated wood, will be transferred to sanitary landfills. And because of this, it will neither contaminate the soil, nor it will pollute water resources, and nor it will be burned and cause air pollution. We're introducing sophisticated digital systems to ensure wide coverage of effective collection of waste. The collection vehicles will be monitored through positioning systems and their routes optimized for efficiency and transparency. Digital apps and platforms will be launched for billing, filing complaints and other services, including banks for trading waste. The project will empower institutions like the Municipal Solid Waste Management Company or the Environmental Police with the knowledge and the tools to run systems profitably and efficiently. In the first year, the project will tailor and deliver behavioural change communication campaigns for residents to make sure that they feel part of the solution and understand the importance of reducing waste, segregating it and recycling it. It will demonstrate how cleaner environments are also safer environments, as per the broken window theory. I remember how these campaigns worked for me and my community when I was growing up in the south of Italy 40 years ago. We at ADB believe that women can also significantly champion the circular economy. We want them to understand the local and global benefits of proper handling of waste, so that their kids can grow in clean environments. And we want these women to become entrepreneurs of the green economy, which can grow out of the circular economy. The six-year-long project in Bahawalpur will see a thriving green economy centered around waste as a precious resource. Through our inclusive approach and consultations with the communities, we're giving cleaner, healthier and safer environments to people in Bahawalpur and other cities in Punjab. We're making them more livable, helping them claim their well-deserved positions as tourist destinations in the region and increase their economic prospects.